I want to talk a little bit to the athletes out there today. And I want to talk about your toughest opponent. And if you can learn to conquer him or her, you will reach your goals, you will achieve excellence. And you can find your toughest opponent in the mirror. And specifically what I mean by that is your toughest opponent is your perfectionistic strivings, trying to be perfect. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all for pursuing excellence. I'm all for you trying to be the best that you can be. However, if you fall short in your eyes and you then beat yourself up, you give yourself a hard time, you get angry with yourself, then what you're doing is you're taking that pursuit of excellence and you're turning it against yourself. And that by itself will undermine your success. It will slow your progress down. See, perfectionism is like a double-edged sword. And when you use it the right way, it will cut down obstacles in your way. It will cut a clear path for you to follow to reach your goals. However, when you turn it against yourself, when you get upset and angry with yourself, when you have some success, but in your eyes, it's not good enough, then it will shred your self-esteem, it will kill your love of the sport, and it will cause you to be a dropout statistic because you will not be having fun when you perform. And if you're not having fun, you're not gonna do well. So it's really important that you learn to kind of temper your self-criticism and the evaluations that go on and what I specifically mean by that is the absolute last thing you should be doing when you're performing is evaluating your performance. And that's one of the things perfectionists do. They'll either do it while they're performing or right after. And they do it viciously. They beat themselves up. They get down on themselves. They're shooting all over themselves. You should have done this and you should have done that. And you're better than this. And what that really does is it robs you of the opportunity to grow from your setbacks and your failures. Because really the way we get good at anything is if we make enough mistakes. Failure is feedback. We learn what we did that didn't work and what we need to do differently next time. And the problem with perfectionists is when they have a little bit of success, but they aren't quite where they wanna be, they'll interpret that success as not good enough, as a failure. And the problem with that is it really sets you up for performance problems. Strive for perfection, work as hard as you possibly can, but don't expect it.